group chat. What's up, group chat? Y'all wanted to talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, Lil TJ shot seven times. That's wild. And luckily, and thank God, he survived. But, of course, you know, rappers. I'm pretty sure he was scared for his life because the thought of death should scare anyone because it's unknown to everyone. Anyone that says they don't scare fear death is a lie, you know. But let's just say different minds. He comes out with his music, and I'm happy he's still doing music. But he drops a song named Many Men, the remix, which I might add, it's not the song for him. His voice don't fit it. He don't got that gritty voice. He's not really a rapper. He's more melodic. Um, he gives that a boogie feel. I mean, I think that's where the issue stem from. Uh, and he makes references. I don't know if 50 not going to post this because he messed with the ops. You know, we all were, you know, interpreting it to be attacking a boogie. Well, Don Q has confirmed that by dropping his response track, which I might add is... Much better than a uh, T- Lil TJ song, but bad move, bro. Number one, if you want to antagonize you guys, and talk about it, and make it seem like you guys had something to do with the shooting, the right way to deal with it is to just sit back, don't respond. You're going to get questioned about it during interviews. Not you specifically, but a boogie. And this is where PR training comes in. You respond like, listen, I feel like he's been shot and we had a small feud and I seem like the easiest target, but I had nothing to do with that. I wish him the best. I don't wish death on no one. I just hope that he can just leave my name out of it because I don't want to get caught up in the crimes and being involved into anything in criminal activity. I'm trying to feed my family and stay on stay on the streets. Not be locked in a cell. And I think if you answered it like that intelligently, it would then turn the media from asking you that question because you changed it, the narrative. But instead, you guys started beefing and Don Q took it as a time to attack him. I fuck with High Bridge. Hard body. I like Lil TJ music, but I love High Bridge. And I do think this all stems from Lil TJ sounding like a boogie. It's no denying. If you listen to A Boogie, you're going to think TJ sounds the same. It is what it is. And both can coexist and both can get money, as we can see. So there's no reason for them to be beefing. But that's just my take. Like, I just think the beef is stupid. We don't know if it's confirmed, whether or not if he shot you or not. First of all, if you're really going to do something, you should never even put it on a record. It should have just been straight out. You know, it's on site. We're going to deal with it in the street. But you put it on the record, so therefore you knew you wasn't going to do anything. And now it's in the police eyes. So now, regardless if they get locked up for this, now you're on the radar for being a criminal organization. And this is going to be something that they use either directly or indirectly if they ever try to get any Ricos or anything that deals with the Highbridge camp or Lil TJ camp. That's just my thought on it. But group, you know what it is. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out of here. Peace. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say something. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stop watching my videos and not putting a comment and liking and subscribing. We're going to have some problems. Not to kick you out the group chat. (laughs) You feel me? I'm out.